Introduction It was a chilly night in the small town of Winter Haven, and Sophie wrapped her scarf snugly around her neck as she hurried down the street. The fabric was soft and warm against her skin, and she smiled as she remembered how her grandmother used to knit scarves just like this one. Sophie had always loved fashion, and the scarf was just one of the many accessories she used to express herself. As she walked, she spotted a woman wearing an incredible hat that seemed to keep her head just as warm as Sophie's scarf kept her neck. Stopping to compliment the woman on her fashion sense, Sophie found out that the hat was made from a revolutionary new material that not only kept the head warm, but also regulated temperature and moisture. The woman gave Sophie the name of the shop where she got the hat, and Sophie made a mental note to check it out. As she continued on her way, Sophie couldn't help but think about all the ways that fabric played such an important role in our lives. From the clothes we wore to the blankets we snuggled under at night, fabric was there to keep us warm and comfortable. It was also a way to express ourselves and show the world a little bit of who we were. Thinking about all of this, Sophie realized that she wanted to work in the fashion industry. She wanted to help people find the perfect outfit for the perfect occasion, and to be part of creating something that would make people feel good about themselves. The next day, Sophie took a chance and walked into the hat shop the woman had mentioned. As she browsed the merchandise, she was struck by how the different fabrics made her feel. A cashmere hat was incredibly soft and warm, while a knit beanie made her feel cozy and relaxed. The woman who ran the shop noticed Sophie's interest and struck up a conversation. Sophie told her about her love of fashion and her dream of working in the industry. The woman nodded, listening patiently, and then offered her an internship at the shop. Sophie eagerly accepted, thrilled for the chance to learn more about fashion and fabrics. Over the next few months, Sophie worked hard at the shop, learning everything she could about hats and scarves and all of the other accessories that helped people express themselves. She learned about different types of fabrics and how they could be used to create different effects, and she began to develop her own sense of style. Sophie also gained a newfound appreciation for the role that warmth played in fashion. She had always believed that fashion was all about looking good, but now she realized that feeling good was just as important. As the cold winter months wore on, she made sure to keep her neck and head warm with her favorite scarf and hat, and she took pride in knowing that they were both stylish and functional. As the end of her internship approached, Sophie knew that she had found her calling. She loved the way that fashion could make people feel, and she loved being part of an industry that was both creative and practical. With her scarf wrapped snugly around her neck and her head held high, she walked out of the shop and into a bright future filled with warmth, fashion, and endless possibilities. Question What is a scarf? The history of scarves Scarves have been a part of human culture for centuries. The history of scarves is rich in origins as it can be traced back to ancient civilizations like Rome, China, and Egypt. Scarves have been used for different purposes throughout history. In ancient Rome, it was used as a symbol of authority by the military, worn by officers to distinguish them from regular soldiers. Scarves were also used as a part of Roman soldiers' uniform, which made it easier for them to identify their comrades on the battlefield. In China, scarves were not only a way to keep warm, but they were also used as a style statement. During the reign of Emperor Cheng, silk scarves were popular among the elite as a symbol of status. The process of weaving silk was a closely guarded secret, and it was considered a luxury material. The Chinese also used scarves as a healing tool. They believed that the cold wind was the source of ills, and by wearing a scarf around their neck, they could avoid the cold and stay healthy. In Egypt, scarves were used as a symbol of social status. Egyptians were known for their intricate headgear which often included scarves, headbands, and headdresses. Scarves were also used as a part of mummification process, wrapped around the mummy's face as a sign of respect for the dead. Over time, the uses of scarves expanded, and they became more popular. 
In the Middle Ages, European knights wore scarves to show their loyalty and allegiance to their lord. During the 17th century, women in France wore scarves as a fashion accessory, creating many new styles and designs. The Industrial Revolution brought about the mass production of scarves, which became available to the masses. As a result, scarves became a part of everyday clothing. In the 20th century, scarves were associated with the suffragette movement. The green, white and purple scarf was a symbol of women's rights and the movement for equality. Today, scarves are a fashion staple, worn by both men and women. They come in a variety of materials and designs, from simple cotton scarves to luxurious silk scarves. Along with providing warmth, they also add a touch of style and personality to any outfit. In conclusion, the history of scarves is fascinating, and it reflects the evolution of human culture over time. From being used as a symbol of authority and social status to becoming a fashion accessory, scarves have come a long way. They continue to be an integral part of our culture, providing comfort and style to people all over the world. Question Where did scarves originate? Types of scarves Scarves were always one of Sarah's favorite accessories. She loved how they could make a plain outfit go from drab to fab. Sarah had a whole collection of scarves, each with its unique design and purpose. When it came to types of scarves, Sarah had an abundance of options. One of her most beloved types was the infinity scarf. Its unique design made it easy to wear, and it hugged her neck like a warm hug. Sarah wore her favorite taupe infinity scarf with a white blouse and jeans, making her outfit look effortlessly chic. Pashmina was another type of scarf Sarah loved to wear. Made from cashmere, pashmina was a luxurious option that added elegance to any outfit. One of her favorite pashmina scarves was a deep red hue that she often paired with her black cocktail dress for formal events. Polyester scarves were perfect for adding a pop of color to any outfit. Sarah had many polyester scarves in assorted colors and patterns. She would wear them to add a playful touch to her work outfits, making them stand out from the typical black and gray suits. For colder months, Sarah would opt for wool scarves to keep her warm. One of her favorite wool scarves was a cable knit scarf in a rich caramel color. It was the perfect addition to Sarah's winter wardrobe, and she would wear it over her coat when the weather was particularly chilly. Despite having a vast collection of scarves, Sarah never felt like she had too many. Each type of scarf was perfect for different occasions and seasons. Sarah knew she could always find a reason to wear one, whether it was to make a statement or add a touch of sophistication to an outfit. One evening, Sarah was invited to a charity gala, and she knew immediately that her polyester scarves wouldn't suffice. She wanted something elegant and timeless. Sarah opted for her favorite pashmina scarf, which was the perfect addition to her long, black dress. She felt sophisticated and confident as she made her way to the gala. One of the best things about scarves was that they were versatile, and Sarah loved experimenting with different ways to wear them. She would drape them over her shoulders, tie them in a knot, or even wear them as a headband. Each scarf could be styled in multiple ways, making it feel like a new accessory each time she wore it. As Sarah gazed upon her collection of scarves, she took pride in the variety she had. From the infinity scarf to the pashmina, the polyester to the wool, Sarah knew there was a scarf for every occasion. She didn't just love scarves for their aesthetic value, but also for their practicality. They were a necessity during the colder months, but also a fun accessory to add to any outfit. Sarah couldn't imagine her wardrobe without scarves, and she knew she would continue to add to her collection for years to come. Each scarf held a special place in her heart, reminding her that no matter where she was, there was something she could add to her look that would make her feel confident and stylish. Scarves were a constant in Sarah's ever-changing wardrobe, and she would never tire of them. Question What types of scarves are there? How to wear a scarf 
Sophia was standing in front of her mirror, struggling to figure out how to wear a scarf. She had always admired the stylish and chic way that many women wore them, but she had never been able to pull off the look herself. As she fiddled with the scarf, trying to wrap it around her neck, she became frustrated and gave up. But then she remembered that she had come across a fashion blog that had some great tips on how to wear scarves. She quickly pulled up the post and read through it. The first suggestion was to start with a simple loop. Sophia decided to give it a try. She draped the scarf around her neck, making sure that both ends were of equal length. Then she took one end and looped it around her neck, bringing it back to the front. She repeated the same step with the other end, making sure that the two loops were symmetrical. The simple loop looked great on her. Next, the blog suggested a knot. Sophia was hesitant to try it, but she gave it a shot. She tied a small knot at the front of her neck, allowing the two ends to drape down. She was surprised at how stylish she looked. She had always thought that scarves made her look bulky, but the knot somehow slimmed down her look. Feeling more confident, Sophia moved on to a wrap. She draped the scarf around her neck, letting it hang longer on one side. She then wrapped the longer end around her neck and let it fall in front, and repeated the process with the other end. The wrap looked so chic and elegant. Sophia was feeling bold now, so she decided to try the shawl look. She draped the scarf over her shoulders like a shawl and secured it in place with a brooch. She couldn't believe how versatile scarves could be. The shawl look was perfect for when she wanted to cover up her arms but didn't want to wear a whole sweater. Sophia was thrilled with how much she had learned about wearing scarves. She felt more confident and stylish than ever before. She realized that scarves weren't just for keeping warm in the winter, but they could be a stylish accessory year-round. Now whenever Sophia stepped out, she wore a scarf with pride, trying out different looks each time. Every time she walked into a room, people would compliment her on her stylish accessory. Sophia was glad that she had stumbled upon that fashion blog that taught her how to wear a scarf. She couldn't imagine her wardrobe without them now. Question What are some ways to wear a scarf? The versatility of scarves As the chilly winter wind swept through the streets, Sarah wrapped her warm and versatile scarf around her neck. Scarves had always been her go-to accessory for both warmth and style. She loved how a simple scarf could completely transform an outfit and add a touch of elegance. Sarah had a vast collection of colorful and patterned scarves in her closet. She had scarves made of wool, silk, and even cashmere. She had scarves of varying lengths and widths, which she could style in numerous ways. She could wear them as a headscarf, a belt, a shawl, or even tie them on her handbag to give it a new look. Today, Sarah had decided to experiment with a new way of wearing her scarf. She tied it around her head, covering her ears and neck, and let the rest of it flow down her back. As she walked through the bustling market, she could feel the warmth and comfort of the scarf against her skin. She received several compliments on her unique headscarf style and realized the versatility of scarves never ceased to amaze her. While browsing through the market, Sarah came across a stall selling handbags. She had been looking for a new handbag to add to her collection, and the beautiful leather bag on display caught her eye. As she picked it up and tried it on, she realized it was missing something. It needed a pop of color. Sarah grabbed her scarf and tied it around the handle of the handbag. The scarf added a touch of color and style to the plain handbag instantly transforming it into a statement accessory. Sarah smiled, knowing that her scarf had once again proved its versatility. As the day turned into night, Sarah decided to head to a cozy cafe to warm herself up with a cup of hot chocolate. She untied her scarf from her handbag and wrapped it around her neck once again. She loved how she could easily switch up her look with the same scarf. As she sipped on her hot chocolate, Sarah couldn't help but overhear two women admiring her scarf. They mentioned how the scarf added an extra layer of style to her outfit, and Sarah smiled with pride. 
scarves were indeed versatile. They could keep you warm during the cold winter months, add an extra layer of style to any outfit, and even transform everyday accessories such as handbags. Sarah knew that her love for scarves was never-ending, and she would continue to experiment with different styles and ways to wear them. As she stepped out of the cafe, Sarah wrapped her scarf tightly around her neck and walked back home with a smile on her face. She knew that her scarf had not only kept her warm but had also made her feel confident and stylish. Scarves truly were a magical accessory, and she was grateful for their versatility. Question What makes scarves so versatile? Choosing the right scarf As the winter wind began to roll in, Maggie knew she needed a new scarf. She had always struggled with choosing the right scarf. With so many options of material, color, length, and style, it was overwhelming. She found herself walking down the street trying to find inspiration. Maggie bumped into her friend, Sarah, who looked like she had the perfect scarf for any winter day. Maggie decided to ask for her opinion on what scarf would suit her. Sarah suggested that she choose a scarf based on two things, the material and color. Sarah explained that a scarf made out of wool or cashmere is perfect for colder days. Wool is thin and lightweight, making it an excellent choice for layering. Cashmere, on the other hand, is thicker, warmer, and perfect for people who tend to get cold easily. As for the color, Sarah suggested a neutral color, such as black, gray, or brown. These colors can pair with any suit and style. Maggie took Sarah's advice and went to the nearest store to find her perfect scarf. She was pleased to find a black cashmere scarf with stripes of gray and white. The length was perfect, wrapping twice around her neck, and the style made her feel extra chic. As she walked back to work with her new scarf, she noticed that her boss was wearing a shorter scarf that looked like it would be better suited for a warmer climate. She decided to ask her boss about the length of the scarf. Her boss explained that the length of the scarf depends on the style of the coat. If the coat is long, then the scarf should be long as well. However, if the coat is short, then the scarf should be short. Maggie realized that her boss was right and that the shorter scarf did look great with her boss's shorter coat. With her new scarf, Maggie felt prepared for the oncoming winter. She couldn't wait to show off her new accessory at work. She was happy with her choice of material and color, and even learned a thing or two about the length of a scarf. She was confident that she chose the right scarf to suit her style and praised herself for it. Maggie realized that all it takes is a little guidance from a friend to make the right choice. Question. How do you choose the right scarf? DIY Scarf Projects As soon as Lucy discovered the world of DIY, she felt like she had found a new passion. She loved searching for new projects to create and experimenting with new techniques. But her favorite projects by far were those that involved knitting and crocheting. Somehow, the rhythmic movement of the needles or hook and the softness of the yarn provided a sense of calm and comfort that she couldn't find anywhere else. One day, Lucy decided to repurpose a bunch of old t-shirts by cutting them into strips and then tying them together to create a ball of t-shirt yarn. She had seen a tutorial online for an infinity scarf made out of t-shirt yarn and she was determined to give it a go. As she began knitting the scarf, she felt the familiar sense of peace wash over her. She loved the repetitive motion of the needles and the way in which the yarn felt as it slipped through her fingers. And as she worked, she couldn't help but think about all of the other potential projects she could create using t-shirt yarn. After a few hours of knitting, Lucy emerged from her crafting bubble to examine her progress. The scarf was coming along nicely and she couldn't wait to see the finished product. Eventually, after several more hours of knitting, Lucy finally pulled the scarf off the needles and tried it on. It was perfect. Soft, cozy, and just the right length to loop around her neck twice. 
She was so proud of herself for creating something so beautiful out of old t-shirts. Over the next few weeks, Lucy couldn't stop thinking about all of the other DIY projects she could create using t-shirt yarn. She began experimenting with crocheting and came up with a variety of different patterns for both scarves and headbands. She even taught a few of her friends how to create their own t-shirt yarn and showed them how to make simple knitted or crocheted infinity scarves. Eventually, Lucy decided to start her own business selling her handmade scarves and headbands on Etsy. She knew that there were others out there who, like her, valued the beauty and uniqueness of handmade items. And she also knew that there were many more ways to use repurposed materials than just making scarves. As her business grew, Lucy never forgot the sense of peace and contentment she found while creating her first t-shirt yarn infinity scarf. And she knew that she would continue to find joy in the simple act of knitting and crocheting for years to come. In the end, it wasn't just about the finished products for Lucy. It was about the process itself. The way in which the creation of something beautiful could be so meditative and calming. And the knowledge that she was doing her part to repurpose materials and create something of value from what might otherwise have been discarded. Question. What are some DIY scarf projects? Caring for your scarf. As soon as Amelia purchased her new scarf, she looked for the care instructions on the label. She found out that the scarf was made of delicate fabric and needed special care. She realized that if she did not take care of it properly, it could lose its texture and color. Amelia knew she had to follow the instructions on the label to keep her scarf looking new for years to come. The label instructed that the scarf should be hand washed in cool water and dried flat. After rinsing the scarf, she gently squeezed out the excess water, avoiding any twisting or wringing. The scarf should never be hung as it could lose its shape. Instead, she decided to lay it flat on a towel to absorb any excess water. Once the scarf was completely dry, she made sure to store it properly. The label advised that the scarf should be stored in a cool and dry place such as a drawer. It should not be exposed to sunlight or placed near a source of heat as this could cause the fibers to break down. Amelia admired her scarf as she folded it carefully and placed it in its proper storage. She was glad that she decided to take the time to read the care instructions. She knew that it would save her money in the long run, as taking care of her scarf properly would keep it looking new for years. As Amelia retrieved her coat from the closet, she overheard her friend Rachel chatting about her scarf. Rachel admitted she never read the care instructions, and just threw her scarf in the washing machine with her other clothes. She explained that when she took it out of the dryer, the scarf had shrunk and the colors had faded. It was now a shadow of its former self. Amelia advised Rachel to read the care instructions next time, and warned her not to take any risks with delicate fabrics. She reminded her that prevention is better than cure. Rachel's careless behavior made Amelia realize that not everyone cared about their clothes as much as she did. Amelia knew that caring for her scarf not only meant following washing instructions but also handling it gently. She knew that she couldn't wear the scarf on windy days because it could snag on a button or a piece of jewelry. Even when she was not wearing the scarf, she took care to keep it stored properly. She knew that her investment in the scarf was worth it. It was a unique piece that she knew would be able to stand the test of time. It was her go-to accessory for all kinds of occasions. Amelia knew she had made the right decision to buy this scarf, and she was happy to take care of it so that it would look great for many years to come. In conclusion, Amelia understood the importance of taking care of her scarf. She knew the cost and effort that had gone into making it, and she wanted to ensure that its quality was maintained. She followed the washing instructions carefully, folded it properly and stored it in a cool and dry place. She knew she would continue to treat her scarf with love and care, knowing it was worth the effort. Question. How do you care for a scarf? Scarves as gifts. 
The holiday season was just around the corner, and Martha was starting to stress about the gifts she was going to give to her friends and family. She was known for her thoughtful gifts, and this year she wanted to get something that everyone could use. As she sat down to brainstorm, she realized the versatility and practicality of one item, scarves. Scarves were the perfect gifts, she thought. They could be dressed up or down, worn in any season, and could be styled in a variety of ways. Martha knew her friends and family would appreciate a stylish and versatile scarf. And while some may think it was an unoriginal gift, she knew that it was a practical item that would be used and cherished. Excited about the idea, Martha set off to find the perfect scarves for everyone. She spent hours browsing different stores and websites, comparing styles and patterns. Eventually, she settled on a beautiful cashmere scarf for her mother, a warm woolen scarf for her father, and a trendy plaid scarf for her younger sister. As she wrapped each scarf, she wondered if her friends would appreciate the versatility and practicality of the scarves as much as she did. Her best friend, Sarah, was a fashionista and always on trend. She chose a bold bright pink scarf to match Sarah's eccentric style. Her brother, David, was always on the go, and she knew he needed something that could be worn in a variety of weather conditions. He received a dark grey knit scarf, perfect for any occasion. On Christmas Day, her family opened their gifts and everyone loved their scarves. Her mother was particularly fond of her cashmere scarf, and her father had already worn his to his weekly golf game. David even wore his to dinner that evening, and Sarah paired hers with a bold floral dress. Martha smiled, knowing that she had found the perfect gifts for everyone on her list. She loved the practicality and versatility of the scarves and was happy to see that her family and friends did too. She felt that the scarves not only made them look fashionable but were practical for their everyday lives. In the following weeks, Martha received texts and pictures from her friends wearing their scarves out and about. She felt proud of her choices and loved knowing that her family and friends looked stylish while also being practical. Martha realized that the scarves had become much more than just a simple gift, they were a symbol of her thoughtfulness and love for her loved ones. From that day on, Martha made sure that she always had a scarf to give as a gift. She felt that they were the perfect item to have on hand, and she continued to spread the versatility and practicality of the gift. Scarves had become her signature gift, and everyone looked forward to receiving one from her each year. As she reflected on her gift-giving experience, she realized that sometimes the simplest gifts can be the best. Scarves were proof of that, practical, versatile, and stylish. Martha was grateful for the impact they had on her loved ones and couldn't wait for the next holiday season to come around to continue spreading the warmth and love that came with a scarf as a gift. Question Are scarves good gifts? Conclusion the conclusion was finally drawing near for Sarah's dilemma on what to wear for the winter ball. She was exhausted searching for the perfect dress that would hold up in the cold yet still be fashionable. After hours of browsing through the mall, she finally found the one. It was a versatile dress that could be dressed up or down and would keep her warm throughout the night. The selection was perfect, and she couldn't wait to show it off to her friends. Sarah smiled to herself feeling grateful that she took the time to care about her style. She knew that her dress wasn't just a piece of clothing, it was a representation of who she was. With her newfound love for fashion, she wanted to take extra care of her clothes and accessories so they could last longer and still look good. As she left the store, Sarah noticed a homeless woman sitting on the sidewalk, shivering in the cold. Without a second thought, Sarah took her new scarf and wrapped it around the woman. Even though it was brand new and brought her warmth, she knew that the woman needed it more than she did. Sarah realized that fashion doesn't just have to be about looking good, it can also be about being warm and caring for others. From that day on, Sarah made it a point to include a little bit of care in all of her outfit choices. She became more selective about her clothes, choosing those that would not only make her look good but also serve a purpose. 
her fashion sense became more versatile, adapting to the different seasons and occasions that would come her way. She even started to experiment with different patterns and fabrics to add some spice to her wardrobe. In the end, Sarah realized that fashion could be both practical and beautiful, a perfect combination that would keep both her and her loved ones happy and content. As she walked to the winter ball that night, Sarah felt confident in her choice. Her outfit wasn't just fashionable and warm, but it radiated with care and thoughtfulness. She knew that this was just the beginning of her journey in discovering the endless possibilities that fashion could bring. Question What should you take away from this book?